Hi, my name is Sydney Ridd. And I'm Damien Payne. And welcome to today's episode of TLTV. In today's episode, we are going to recap homecoming week, catch up with some students about how they're feeling in week one, introduce some of our new teachers, and talk about winter sports. Even though homecoming week didn't go as planned due to COVID restrictions, we still made the most with what we had. Broadcast and Stuco came together to create a pep rally video for both A and B students. It was a challenge to try to live stream it with the entire school. AA students got to see that effort and watch some of the teachers participate in the Egg Roulette game. The B students watched it as an entire video and got to watch some our teachers eat pie. Delicious. I heard another effort to to make homecoming week fun. Yes, school clubs also came together earlier on in the week and painted windows around Winsville for homecoming spirit. Several businesses agreed to participate in the Hoco window painting on Winsville Parkway and Pierce Boulevard. I heard softball did a time lapse of their window painting at one of the businesses. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the winners. Third place was Hosa, second place was Cheer, and first place was Football. That was nice of everyone to participate in the window painting competition, which was in place of the parade. Although there wasn't an official dance this month, we are hoping we can follow through with our plan to have one in February. Fingers crossed. With everyone back in the building, I hope there isn't an uprising cases. Well, let's cut to Nick in the halls to see how students are doing in level one. <laughs> So, uh, how do you feel about being back five days? I hate it. Why? Um, the It's not safe at all. The hallways are crowded. Um, the lunch, it makes lunch suck. There's nowhere to sit at lunch. And everyone's getting sick. And that's just that. I don't like it, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm not really so worried about the students here, but more the teachers. There's so many of us that it's going to spread so quickly. Most of us will be fine, but some of the teachers probably won't be. Um, when it comes to the five-day thing, I feel like we still should have had Wednesdays off. That not only would have given more time to do a thorough clean of the school every Wednesday, but along with that, it would have reduced the stress on the students, whether it be corona-related or just school-related. I feel as if any of these past years, if we removed Wednesdays, it would have been better. Um, being back five days, I think it's not the best idea, you know, because COVID, but it will definitely help with kids' grades. And I know I struggled last year whenever we went fully online, so I'm hoping this helps with my grades especially. How do you feel it's affected your education? I, don't, I feel like everyone's just so paranoid about this that it's hard for people to actually focus about what's going on in school right now. Okay. I feel like it could almost still work for the education aspect but it would take less of a toll on people. Even the virtual Wednesdays, people were still fine with those. It really hasn't affected my education. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Um, but it would be better if we went back to hybrid because it's much safer for everyone in the school. I rest my case. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Nick. Since the beginning of our year was so out of the norm, we never got the chance to introduce one of our new teachers. Let's go meet the new teachers with Damian and Nick. Alright, my name is Damian Payne. I'm interviewing Mr. Standish today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, Damian. Alright. So, how are you liking Holt? Uh, so, I'm a big fan of Holt. I'm actually a former student. I graduated in 2014 and... Uh, back teaching English 1 and English 4 so it's uh it's been it's been quite a ride it's been very interesting I'm definitely happy to be back all right and would you like to go back to five days or would you like to be in virtual how do you feel about the whole situation so the situation is kind of tricky um it's kind of two sides I prefer the five-day format but there are definitely health concerns that I have I'm not gonna pretend that there aren't any but in terms of the extra instructional time, getting to slow down, talk to students one-on-one -on -one more, I think that'll be really beneficial as long as we 
um, take the situation seriously. Everyone's wearing their masks, and we can stay, hopefully, in person as long as we can. All right. Thank you. And last question. What's your favorite animal? So my favorite animal is any kind of small dog that constantly wants to lick your face. It's very cute. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. My name is Damien. I'm with Broadcast Team, and I'm interviewing Mr. Street. How That's you funny. doing, man? All right, so I'm just going to ask you, how are you liking Holt so far? Uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely been a change. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy to uh, transition in the middle of a pandemic, but uh, it's about making the most of, you know, a situation, and, and I enjoy it thoroughly here. All right. And leading to that, are you are you more comfortable with five days in school or are you more comfortable doing virtual um being a pe health weightlifting teacher um i would prefer to be in school five days we're, we're more active uh we do things in class uh participation based so for us in the pe field i think uh five days benefits us the most um but i guess we'll find out sooner or later on, on how it's going to go all right and just a little freelance question um what's your favorite animal favorite animal i'd have to maybe give you two I'm from uh, north of Chicago, so I grew up a, a Bulls Bears fan, but if I had to pick one of those, the Bulls growing up. And then the other one, um, I go on vacation up in northern Wisconsin, and uh, bald eagles are, are pretty majestic up, up there, and, and seeing how big they are and how they take fish out of the water. So I'd say a bull and a bald eagle. How big are bald eagles, actually? Oh, man. I'd say their wingspan's over six feet, but uh, I am definitely not uh, a science, biology, any of those teachers, so I couldn't tell you the truth. All right. Thank you for your time, man. Have, have a good day. You too. Hey, I'm Damien. I'm from the broadcast team. I'm interviewing Miss Terry. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. All right. So how are you enjoying Holt so far? I love Holt. I do. Um, it's been a great experience so far. It's definitely been different with um, the whole COVID thing and um it's been a year like i've never had before for sure but it, overall i love it i hope to stay here for the long haul so all right so are you enjoying more or how do you feel about the whole situation with the five days versus, versus, versus the days and yeah. yes ma'am um i miss my wednesdays not gonna lie oh. but um but i also think it's really nice to be able to have kind of a, a set schedule and have due dates for everybody at the same time and and uh and everyone's kind of on the same pace moving at the same at, at a faster pace too which we needed to do um obviously i'm a little bit concerned if we do end up having a lot of kids quarantine it's going to be like we're teaching virtual at the same time too so yeah. i don't know it's kind of a let's see how it goes kind of a thing I completely understand. And just for a freelance question, what's your favorite animal? I love dogs, but I um, spent a, a summer uh, working on a whale boat back when I lived in Massachusetts, and I got to say, humpback whales are pretty cool. All right. Have a good day. Thank you for the time. Nice All right. How are you doing today? My name is Damien. All right. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. So how are you feeling about coming to Holt? Coming to Holt? Oh, I think it was a great decision. I'm real happy working here. How do you feel about coming back to five days? A uh, little bit nervous about it, but overall I'm real excited about getting all my students together in the room, uh, all be in the same place. And uh, I don't know, anytime you have more people, a bigger sense of community, I think it helps everybody learn a little bit better. For sure. All right, and last question, what's your favorite animal? That's a tough question. Um, I'm gonna go with the animal that I would wanna come back as if reincarnation is a thing. And I'm gonna go squirrel, squirrel. Because you can still get up to mischief and if you find the right place to live, your favorite food just falls right out of the sky. So, Are you fast? Uh, pretty, I'm pretty quick, but not, not squirrel quick, right? Running on a power line, jumping from tree to tree. Yeah. Be a good life. All right, sir. Thank All you right. for your time. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right. My name is Damon. I'm going to be interviewing Ms. Bower today. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. All right. I'm just going to ask you some questions. Is that all right? Perfect. All right. So first question is, how are you liking Holt so far? I love Holt so far. Everybody here is awesome. Everybody's super nice. The kids have been really friendly. Um, all around a really great environment to work in. So how are you feeling about five days versus going home and staying on virtual? 
Um, I love seeing my kids in person. So I think being um, five days in person is really great. Um, just the, the kids that I work with, being um, virtual is really difficult, um, just as far as navigating technology in that. So being in school five days is great for our class. All right. So would you would you think it's like best for the school or? Um, best for the school? Oh, that's a difficult question. Um, I mean, I can't answer for everybody, but I think um, seeing the kids is a lot better than seeing them on a screen, especially when you're trying to get to know people for the first time. Uh, getting to know people through a screen is really difficult. So um, I liked the hybrid model because you got to see kids um, a little bit and you got to be home too. All right. Thank you. And just a follow up question to that, um, to get to know you, uh, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a penguin. Penguin? Yes, I love That's penguins. nice. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Thank you for the time. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm sure all of the teachers are so excited to teach during a pandemic. Well, let's check in with some of the winter sports coaches and players to see how they feel with their seasons approaching. Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Jara. With, with Holt Sports. sports. Winter sports are right around the corner. Let's see how some of the winter athletes feel about their upcoming seasons. What's one thing you're excited about for this season? I'm excited for the new teammates to come in and I'm excited to get back to the duels and the tournaments because it's been a while and I'm excited to see everybody. How do you expect this season to go? Um, I expect that we do really well this season. I think we have a nice team and I think that this year we have a lot of people that are gonna get after it and I think that we're gonna do very well in district, so. How do you feel about this season? Um, kinda disappointed that we don't have any tournaments. We won't get to go to Florida or Kansas City or anything. Uh, but like, I'm excited that we still have all of our duels. What's one thing you're excited about for this season? Um, I'm excited that I get to spend my last year of swimming with the best teammates. What is something you have done to prepare for this upcoming season? Um, I did not take a break from wrestling over the whole summer. What to uh, ride wrestles every single day. I go out of town every weekend for wrestling, and it's just so much. But I recommend it. It's fun. It'll be worth it. The deadline to try out for basketball and wrestling is today. And the deadline for Girls Swim is November 4th. Make sure to complete the online athletic registration. This is required for all athletes who are interested in trying out for winter sports. To find more information, go to the whole athletic webpage or the other links listed below. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of TLTV. See you next time.